So I saw that uh, my friend Rhett posted this uh, awesome problem and was doing it with Lagrangians, and this, there's just fantastic stuff going on in here. So if you fast forward, you can see that he was particularly interested in, um, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, in the energy here maybe? Yeah, in the energy of the particle and the angular momentum and, you know, lots of really, really interesting things. And, but frankly, as soon as I saw the setup, I thought, well, how would I do that? And I realized that the constraint approach uh, with a Lagrangian multiplier would be interesting. So I just coded it up and, you know, I was able to verify basically the same old stuff. So essentially um, that my constraint is basically saying that I've got an X and a Y for the particle on the table and a Z for the particle that's hanging down. And so I just have, you know, the, par the table particles kinetic energy and the hanging down particles kinetic energy. And of course, only the hanging down particle has any potential energy. And then I say that, look, the rope that connects them has to be constrained. So I didn't, again, I didn't bother with the square root, but really the square root of this would have been the length of the rope on the table. And the square root of this would have been the length hanging below. And so if you just add those two, you get the total length of the rope. So whatever, you know, I, I put in the same uh, variables that um, Rhett had and I got, you know, a nice movie and interesting uh, energy and all of that stuff. And I thought that was cool. But it's something just occurred to me. If these two masses are the same, then this just becomes the kinetic energy of a particle just in a gravitational field. It's just a, a free particle. Um, and obviously the kinetic energy, or sorry, the potential energy would be the same. And all you're basically saying is that the distance from the origin has to be constrained. So it's basically a particle on a sphere. So think of it as like a particle either on or in, glued to the inside of a sphere. So the, the motion, which we interpret differently, right? We actually draw it like this. We say, oh, well, the X and Y is here and the Z is there. But apparently the motion would be identical to like the shadow of this or whatever on a sphere as it rolls around. That's actually really, really cool.